Hi, I'm Michelle Bigot with a look at what's happening in Latin America now. But first, our news trivia. Which Latin American country is the world's leading producer of coffee? We'll have the answer later. Some Latin American countries have been arranging humanitarian flights to help citizens flee Lebanon during its ongoing conflict. Colombia brought home 114 nationals who were in Beirut. Meanwhile, Brazil says approximately 21,000 Brazilians reside in Lebanon, and at least 3,000 are asking to return. The first flight of 229 Brazilians arrived this week. Chile sent an Air Force plane during the weekend with a double mission to deliver aid and bring back Chileans. Now let's go to Peru with my colleague Dan Collins, who has a special report. For the third time, Peru will play host to the Asia-Pacific Economic Corporation, or APEC, leaders' meeting. This year, the stakes are high for the Andean country. It comes as Peru's economy is recovering following the COVID-19 pandemic and needs to relaunch itself. And the summit is time to coincide with the launch of a new Chinese-built megaport in Peru. The $3.5 billion project in Chiang Kai, led by Chinese firm Costco Shipping, could become a hub for Latin American exports to Asia by reducing the freight transit times. China's President Xi Jinping is expected to inaugurate the port. The APEC Forum brings together 21 Pacific Rim countries that account for some 70% of global trade. Some of the world's biggest economies, the US, Canada, Australia, South Korea, Japan and China. The focus, as always, is on trade and investment but also pushing forward digitalization to promote more sustainable economic cooperation. A devastating landslide occurred in Brazil's port city of Manacapuru, located in the country's Amazonas state. Officials say the land supporting part of the Terra Preta port loosened and slid for unknown reasons. The port is an important transportation point and was also under construction. Severe drought has affected the region as well. 24 hours after the tragedy, it is said more than 200 people could be missing as they were loading and unloading goods when the accident occurred and the port was wrecked. Panama kicked off its cruise season, which runs from October to May. The Panama Canal expects more than 225 transits to take place this season with 14 new cruise ships making their way through the canal. Passengers will witness the process the ships undergo as they pass through the locks and lakes. Officials hope this will bring millions of dollars in revenue to the waterway, which has been hard hit by drought in recent years. Now let's check out what stories we're following for next week. Chile's President Gabriel Boric introduced a bill this week to forgive state-backed loans to students. This was a promise he made during his campaign. In 2006, Chile's government began a loan program to help students access higher education at private universities, as there were no universities that were free. Today, 1.2 million people in Chile have student loan debts through the government. The bill would cancel the debt of 75,000 students immediately based on fairness and merit. It will also help refinance the other loans with payment plans. The law would also create a new public funding system for higher education. President Boric began his political career as a student rights advocate when he was in college. And now the answer to our news trivia. The answer is B. Brazil produces 35% of the world's coffee and it is by far the planet's number one producer over Vietnam and Colombia. But this year, Brazil is facing its worst drought in more than seven decades, and rampant wildfires are affecting coffee production. Experts are assessing how coffee plants can grow in these adverse climate conditions. Meanwhile, the international price of coffee is rising, thanks to higher demand, particularly in Asia, but also because extreme weather is affecting global supply. And that's it for this week. We'll see you again soon on Latin America Now.